Welcome to Positive Mind Dynamics, the conscious next step towards a better life. Like, subscribe and share this video. Remember to push the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our future content. What do you do when you are unhappy? Hold on to your dreams and aspirations. The psychological value of dreams and aspirations. Are you confused about life right now? Have you lost your passion for life? Has your focus gone? Are you feeling unhappy? How do we feel happy again? We need to find our purpose. We need to reignite the passion. Consider this. What made us feel happy? We need to remember what drives us. We need to remind ourselves what inspired us to thrive. What gave us a reason to want to achieve and accomplish things? Our dreams and aspirations. Why do we need to hold on to our dreams and aspirations? Why is this important for our mental health? In these dark days, I've heard a lot of people saying they are unhappy, they are depressed, they are anxious, and they are worried. Why is this happening? Global events affect our day-to-day -day lives. They affect our day-to-day -day well-being. They affect our mental well-being. People have been saying they feel unsettled. They feel as if they have no grasp on their lives. They feel as if they are floundering in a sea of despair. They have lost direction. They have lost their focus. What seemed important 10 months ago is not so important now. What wasn't important has become majorly important to us. Suddenly, making ends meet is more important than planning the annual family vacation. So how do you overcome this feeling of being lost? What do we do to lift this veil of depression? How do we find our way back to happy? How do we get our focus back so that we can get past the mire of mundane and see the beauty life has to offer? We need to go back and remember we need to get in touch with our childhood and adolescent dreams and aspirations. We need to remember what our desires and wants were. We need to get back in tune with what drives us. As children and adolescents, we make our life decisions 
based on our dreams and aspirations. Those things we see that will make us happy and give us the potential to lead a fulfilled life. We go after the things we perceive will give us pleasure and fulfillment. We have a picture in our minds of what constitutes a perfect life. It's different for each person, but it's the reason we live in a certain way and it's the reason for many of our choices. Dreams of a perfect life gives us aspirations to try and fulfill. We dream, we aspire, and we achieve. We remember our dreams. Let's talk about aspirations. What are aspirations and how do they impact our lives? Quaglia and Cobb in their conceptual review asserted that aspiration consists of two components. Number one, inspirations and number two, future ambitions. Inspiration is experienced when an activity is perceived to be enjoyable and exciting. One is aware of being immersed in the here and now of life. When we do something that is enjoyable, or we see something today that looks desirable, we become inspired by the idea that we want this thing or activity in our lives. We become inspired by the object or desire. We then aspire to get the object of our desire and these become our aspirations. Ambition is characterized by the perception that a particular activity is meaningful toward the pursuit of a future goal. We therefore view activities that will give us the desired outcome as helpful in achieving our future wishes or desires. Our ambition is to achieve these desires. Activities, such as educational choices, become a tool to use to realize our ambition. We are motivated to do well so that we can achieve what we want in life. To put it into perspective, we can use the following example. A mother takes her child Christmas shopping. As they enter the mall, the child hears a beautiful Christmas melody being played. She follows the sound and sees a young woman playing a white grand piano. The sight of the beautiful instrument and the woman stroking the ivory keys leaves an indelible imprint on the child. The little girl wants to do what the young lady was doing. She is inspired by the beautiful sounds. Her aspirations are born. She wants to become a concert pianist. The inspiration which leads to her aspiration creates a desire within her. She feels a need to learn to play music. Her ambition is born. Her ambition is to become a famous concert pianist. All her future decisions, educational choices, colleges, etc., will now be based on her ambitions for her future. Thus, we may say that aspirations 
can be seen as inspiration served to motivate youngsters, adolescents and adults toward their future ambitions. Psychological Processes of Aspirations Nurmi explained the psychological processes of aspirations as follows. Motivation, planning and evaluation. Motivation pertains to what future interests children and adolescents may have. That is goal setting based on values and interests. Planning. Planning is about how one may achieve their prescribed goals, that is, developing strategies. Evaluation. Evaluation is to do with assessing the possibility or extent that the goals may be actualized. The psychological value of aspirations. Aspiration has long been perceived as a crucial psychological aspect of a young person's propensity to deciding on what type of education schools and colleges they will attend. We can think of aspirations as educational and vocational dreams that we have for our future. This notion emphasizes the role of aspiration in helping us as children and adolescents to choose the right education during our learning years and it helps us make sure we have achievements and the successes in post school years. It has been found that aspirations contribute significantly to the educational and occupational achievements of children and adolescents leading to life and career choices. There are numerous studies investigating the relationship between academic outcomes and aspirations. Scholars have found that aspirations contribute significantly to educational and occupational achievements of children and adolescents. Have we as adults achieved what we aspire to as youths? The idea that aspirations are important emphasizes the role of aspiration in helping children and adolescents in achieving educational attainments and successes in their school and post-school years. The notion that childhood dreams and aspirations are foundational in our success as adults has become very clear. It is very important to hang on to childhood aspirations as they play a part in who or what we become through our choices on our way to adulthood. As children, we have dreams and aspirations. Our aspirations inspire us towards our future ambitions. These aspirations inspire us to make choices as adolescents to follow a certain educational path. We are motivated by our aspirations to follow an educational path that will give us what we want in the future. We plan our future by choosing the right college, the right subjects, and the right education. Once we have achieved all these milestones and are equipped to make our dreams and aspirations a reality, we love our lives. 
we are fulfilled and we are happy and content. Once we have accomplished certain things, we get to a point where we have achieved our aspirations and should be happy we have fulfilled our ambitions. This is the point where we evaluate our success or non-success. If we find ourselves in adulthood and we are not happy and we are not fulfilled, what do we do? Have you ever stopped to think why you are unhappy? Why are you feeling miserable and unfulfilled? Perhaps it's time to reevaluate your life. Did you follow your dreams and aspirations? Did you stick to your path of future dreams and aspirations? Perhaps you're unhappy because you have not achieved what you wanted to in life. Ask yourself this question. Have you achieved your ambitions? Remember your motivation. Did you stick to the plan? Take time to evaluate your past. If you've gone off the track, it's okay because you can always reevaluate and correct and get back on track. You can make the choice to do what makes you happy and fulfilled. Do it now. Decide to be happy today. Reevaluate your past your aspirations and decide to fulfill your ambitions.